Hey guys, this is Alex here to empower your inner video creator. Thank you so much everyone who watched our Halloween special. We got so many good ideas from you guys. We are so honored to have fans like you. If you haven't seen our Halloween special, you can check it out in the description box below. But if you have seen it, you know that... Spoilers! You know that I betray everyone following my tree lord. So everyone's dead except me. So today I am going to take you step by step on how I did the tree lord effect with blue or green screen using Filmora. So let's get started. For this blue slash green screen shooting, you are going to need a tripod, a camera, two pieces of blue or green paper, and blood. We should get ready the blood. We use a bowl, corn syrup, red and green food colors, and a little bit of cornstarch. Add the corn syrup into the bowl, then the red color, a lot of it. Then add slowly, drop by drop, a little bit of green. At the end, you can add cornstarch to make the texture even thicker. Play it by ear. Keep adding red and green depending on how the color is looking like. Same situation with the cornstarch for the texture. At the end, you want to have a reddish, brownish, dense liquid. For the blue or green screen, you need two pieces of paper of the same color. In one, you are going to cut a hole on it with the size of your arm, where the joint is. This blue screen is going to isolate the arm from the rest of the body. We also added some dead leaves in the hole around my arm, so you can't see anything from my actual body. When you have everything ready, Go outside to shoot your blue or green screen, so you have an even lighting in both of your screens. Avoid direct sunlight, and you probably want to avoid afternoon times, as the light is very strong and creates really hard shadows. When you're doing the action of the arm, try to be as still as possible. It is very important for you to have the least amount of motion as possible, so it seems realistic when we add it with the background of the trees. All right, guys, we are going now to the editing software. We're going to use Filmora. If you haven't tried it already, you can try it for free in the description box below. We have here our footage the profile shot and the frontal one, and the background for each one respectively. We're going to add the frontal one. And what we want to do is to do some color correction first on this. We're going to add the background after it, just as a reference to match the colors of the environment. So select the arm and move the timeline marker to the background shot. Now, click on the color palette here, Advanced Color Tuning. And here what you want to do is to change the color correction to match the background. So, we're going to open the Color tab and we're going to lower the exposure so, so low. Yeah, around there. We're gonna raise the contrast too. And we are going to desaturate it. Around there. Let's open up the light tab and we're going to make the shadows darker. There you go. Now open up the HSL tab and we are going to select this blue color over here. Well, this kind of teal color, which is closer to what the color of our blue screen is. We're going to saturate this so we can make it pop, and it will be easier to key it out when we re-import it to our project. We can also change maybe some of the hue of it, maybe like this blue to make it really stand out. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. It seems that it matches well the environment. Cool, okay. So, now that we have our color corrected file, let's erase the background and we're going to export this. Click on export, and you can do MP4 or MOV. We're going to do MP4. Settings, click here, and we're going to select the best one, 1920 by 1080. The frame rate, it's gonna be 23.97, 
and bitrate 20,000. Okay, let's change here. Export. All right, so it's complete. Let's close this and this. We're going to import our new exported file. Go here on desktop. We have arm front CC. Let's bring it in. Let's erase the previous one. We don't need it anymore. And we're going to add on the main track the background of the tree. Then we're going to add the color corrected file that we just imported on the second track. All right, so select the clip of the arm, then click here on the green screen icon. We're gonna go first to the mask tab and we're going to select the second one. Then on here, on these sliders, we can crop out everything that's not the blue screen. And here on left, we move it to center it and it's still cropping out. There we go. Then on height, we crop out the top and bottom. Top, we can move it around there. Let's crop it a little bit more on height. Here, that looks nice. Let's watch it for a bit so it doesn't seem that anything is being cropped. It seems pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to key out the blue. Let's go back to effect and we're gonna click here on make parts of the clip transparent. On current color, select the blue somewhere closer to where the arm is. There. And then intensity level, let's raise it and then until we key out all of our blue screen. Yeah, around there, that looks nice. Cool. Sweet. So, right now the only thing left to do is to resize it because it seems a little bit big and then put it wherever you want in the tree. Let's check this out. Cool, that looks really awesome. It really looks that it belongs to the same environment. But you can always do more to make it seem more realistic. What we did is that we add some smoke and some fog from the Blockbuster pack, which you can find on the FX store. When you get the Blockbuster pack for fog and smoke, go here to elements and let's see which one we add. One of these smokes. Um, it's okay. Let's see this one. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Let's add this one to the third layer of our timeline. And let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, look at that. This make it seem more realistic. All right, guys, those were my tips and tricks on how we made our Halloween special. I hope you found them helpful and you use them for your next horror video. And as someone that loves scary movies, please tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite horror film effect. Mine is the one from It. You know, when he is like dancing in hell. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We will be releasing more video editing tips and tutorials every week. See you all next time and have a happy Halloween. Bye.